outside Rondo. On the left block, that one good for two. Rondo's got seven points here in this quarter. The Heat leading by five. Wade outside. Over Allen. No good from Wade. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. And the Heat making a change here. James is checked in. And it's the Heat with the ball. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. After this one, they're off to Philadelphia to take on the 76ers. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Wade against Rondo. Wade misses. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. And they're losing their concentration here, guys. Just sloppy with the ball. Chalmers, he's checked in for Miller. And here's Bosch bringing it up for Miami. Leading by five. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Hey, Allen picks one up. You know, Chris Bosh offers a versatility that you got to love. I mean, a terrific big man who can sink it from deep and also does solid work on defense and can post you up as well. The first one falls. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Now here's Pierce. Garnett with a screen on James. Pierce in the high post. Working on James. Six on the shot clock. Shaq passes to Allen. Here's Garnett. A pass to good off the assist from Allen. Allen's got six assists in the game. Miami leading by four. And Chalmers kicks to Ogowskis. To the middle. Here's Wade. Hits the jump hook. Wade's got 26 points. You know, Wade has the capability to put up big numbers and Clearly, he's showing it all in this one. Pierce against LeBron. Allen up top. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. No hesitation, no fear in Allen. I mean, he'll go right at those big fellas. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Heat. Well, you know, in some circles, this is an unpopular point, but there can be value in taking the mid-range shot. This team is certainly proving that tonight. And just a great job converting those second-chance points as well. They're having a great night getting those second and third shot opportunities. Outside Rondo. outside and Garnett has it in the corner over Bosch Garnett can't get it to go he's certainly been cold this quarter guys but trying to shoot his way back into a group Ilgowskis against Ronda the jump hook and another basket for Miami and I like how tenacious Ilgowskis is. Once he catches the ball, he feels like no one is stopping. Pierce dishes to Allen. Back to Pierce. Passes to Rondo. Garnett with the screen for Rondo. The Celtics need to get a shot off, and that one drops for him. Garnett's got 23. You know, play like this, I think, is a credit to Garnett's focus. He doesn't let the clock distract him from getting done what needs to be done. Inside, O'Neal with the steal. 
Chalmers against one. And a great assist by Allen as that one goes in. That's what a proven winner will do for you. Big bucket from Rondo. LeBron passes to Wade. Double team on Wade. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Wash gets to Chalmers. Gauskas is straight on Allen, and Chet comes to help. Pulls from the top of the key, and it's Ilgowskis missing. And you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Now here's Garnett. It's hauled in by the Heat. Ilgowskis has got four rebounds in this game. Here's LeBron. He is all gas and no break. James caps off a beautiful fast break. Timeout called the Celtics. They're behind by seven. 106 left in the game. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, during the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers talking to the team. Now, he preached the importance of patience down the stretch. Coach said, we're not going to get it all back at once. Let's take it one trip at a time. Make it simple. Make it easy. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Ice water in his veins. Pierce wants the ball when the game's on the line because he knows he can deliver. Bounce pass from Chalmers. A jump hook. No good on that one. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Rondo kicks to O'Neal. Pass to Pierce. 34 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Big shot from Pierce. This is the guy they turn to when they need a bucket. This may be their most important possession. No doubt about it. As long as they don't make any major mistakes, this one's in the bag. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. You know, Chalmers can certainly be a playmaker, but he doesn't need the ball in his hands to make an impact. He's a solid defender and a really good spot-up shooter. And I don't need to tell you guys, those free throws are big. Two-possession game now. Now a timeout called by Boston. They trail... Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Once again, Passes to Pierce. Over James. No good off the back of the rim. And they go to the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. Look, the physicality has always stood out with LeBron. It's been obvious, but his basketball IQ is what makes him such a special, special player. I mean, he sees the game like very few ever have. Watch out now, when this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. He had to foul, and on that occasion, to stop the clock, that's the enemy in this situation. And you know what? Who knows? A few misses at the strike, and they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making them. Pass to Ronda. Here's for three. That shot off. And so it's the Heat winning this one. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. 